Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Listen, Lord, to the cries of your poor. Break hell's hold, fling wide heaven's door. Our reading for today is from Psalm 31, 1 through 5. It says this. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Listen, Lord, to the cries of your poor. Break hell's hold, fling wide heaven's door. Listen, Lord, to the cries of your poor. Break hell's hold, fling wide heaven's door. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm going to just come up for a stretch after the Lord's Prayer as we break in the stretch. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever and ever. Amen. Okay, and I'm going to come into our push-up now. And so we have 44 as our target for today. Come with me, and if you can, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, and four. Okay, 44, not quite there yet. 43 is the hold. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you humor and humble us in every part of our day. We thank you and praise you. You grant us new days and new ways to remember who you are. Lead us on in this day, in every part of our way. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm just gonna come back into our plank now and to recite today's holy reflection. These words are from an ancient homily for Holy Saturday. Something strange is happening. There is a great silence on earth today, a great silence and stillness. The whole earth keeps silence because the king is asleep. The earth trembled and is still because God has fallen asleep in the flesh and has raised up all who have slept ever since the world began. God has died in the flesh and hell trembles with fear. He has gone to search for our first parents. As for our lost sheep, greatly desiring to visit those who live in darkness, and in the shadow of death. He has gone to free from sorrow the captives, Adam and Eve, he who is both God and the son of Eve. 
the Lord approached them bearing the cross, the weapon that had won him the victory. At the sight of him, Adam, the first man he had created, struck his breast in terror and cried out to everyone, my Lord be with you all. Christ answered him and with your spirit, he took him by the hand and raised him up saying, awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead and Christ will give you light. Listen, Lord, to the cries of your poor. Break hell's hold, fling wide heaven's door. Amen. Okay, we're just gonna come into a stretch now. Reaching high and holy coming down. Raise your hands up high. And hold. Okay, I'm now gonna work into a scripture verse which I just did a reflection on, which is taken from John 14, six. And this is what it says, I'm going right to left. Jesus said to him, he's speaking to Thomas, I am the only way to God. I am the real truth. I am the real life. No one comes to the Father, but through me. Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God. I am the real truth. I am the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God. I am the real truth. I am the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And now we're going to just begin with our butt kicks. I'm going to come wide so you can see more of me. And Park kicks are very simple, so just behind us, one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna do my lunges, and one, and two, and three, and four. And then for tonight, our movement, it's gonna be bicycles, okay? So for this, I'm gonna spin my hat around. And for our bicycles, just arms and legs down by the sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll count to 20 on those, okay? So that's our hit. Let us begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And here we go with our lunges. I'll give myself enough room. And one. And two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, into our bicycles. Coming down. Arms and legs by our sides. And here we go. One, two, six, seven. That's our first set, and then back kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then back into our lunges. And Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God. I am the real truth. I am the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God. 
I am the real truth. I am the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Okay, I'm going to our bicycles. Really light the session tonight. Here we go. into my bucket, it's last set, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay, coming into our lunges, here we go, I'm just going to push this mat out a bit because it's not quite flat, okay, and one, come down, one, two, and three, Five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Okay, we're going to come into our second set for the, the workout. I'm going to be doing um, crunches, bridges, and setups for this section. So, starting with our bicycle crunches, which are one, two, three, four. We're going to count 20 on those because there are two sets for every one. And then our bridge, back and neck and vertebrae need to be straight on all of these. And our bridges, one, come into a starting position, one, two. And then I'll sit up is just one, two. Now you can do it one, two as well if you like. Or I prefer to do it the other way. I'm going to start with my punches. Here we go. 20 of these. And okay, 10 on the bridge. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then to our sit up, here we go. Getting ready for this guy. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, coming back into our bicycle crunches. And one. Okay, 20 of those, 10 bridges. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Coming into our last one, ten set, uh, last set after this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, twenty of our bicycle crunches. Here we go. Okay, into our bridges. And okay, 
And then finally I'll set up stand sets. So one, two, three, back to stand sets. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten jacks just to loosen up. I'm gonna use my arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten crossovers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't really see me, but um, I'm just gonna come down and talk plank so you can see me. And I'm gonna to read to you from today's devotional, which is entitled Foundation of Flourishing. This I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Lamentations 1, 21 through 22. If an optimist views the glass as half full, and a pessimist sees the glass as half empty, I consider myself a realist. It doesn't matter how much is in the cup. One cup is not enough to quench my thirst. The problem with the scarcity mentality is that there's never enough time, resources, job opportunities, etc. It creates stress and a striving to constantly make ends meet. Many of us live with this realist attitude, but is this a true picture of reality? The writer of Lamentations begins airing his lament. He lists the desolation, bitterness and darkness that is overwhelming him. This I call to mind and therefore I have hope. He didn't hold back, and then, right when he really seems to hit scarcity stride, he abruptly shifts gears. But this I call to mind. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. There is a greater reality to play beneath his dismal circumstances. The truth is, no matter what else is happening in our lives, it is always playing out of a foundation of the Lord's steadfast love and mercy. We find rest from stress in his care. Lord of love and mercy, train my mind to seek your foundations of flourishing beneath my stress. In Jesus' name, amen. And we're just going to close with the Lord's Prayer. And then we're going to come into our closing benediction as well. Our Father, who art in heaven, right over it left. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Come into a starting position. Lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. And deliver us from evil. And coming down for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Head down onto your knees, reaching high. Forever and ever. Amen and amen. Then we're going to come back into a plank for our prayer and then benediction. And remembering that Jesus Christ died for us. As you hovered over the darkness that covered the earth at the beginning of time, may your spirit move among us in the silence of this day, preparing us for new life. Amen. And now our benediction as we head into the day. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing as the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Father, we thank you and praise you that you are in control, Lord. We let it all out. We declare the name of Jesus, resurrected alive this Sunday, Easter day. And in the mist, in the gap, Lord, we ask 
that you would come by the power of your Holy Spirit to minister to us, to provide a heavenly and holy cure for the coronavirus, the complete eradication. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a great Holy Saturday. Bye for now.